Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So today we're back again with a Tech Tuesday and we're back with YouTube. And we talked in the, the previous segment about YouTube and promoting one of your videos. Now, as I said, just remember if there's something in a video that you don't like, or um, you just wanna get into the, the a certain portion of that video that pertains to what you're looking for, just fast forward it. That's the great thing with YouTube. You can just fast forward it. Uh, so you can fast forward, stop it, move it around, whatever you wanna do as far as looking for that segment part. Now, we're gonna go through this as quick as we can, but this is gonna be a little bit longer video. Uh, we did go through and show you where to find on the little three little buttons and or your video, wherever it's at, you just click on that and you'll see a little drop down and it'll say promote. So you'll click on that, then your ads account will come up and you'll see our ads account is blurred out, but we already have an ads account. And if you wanted to create one, it's very simple, very easy to do. Just click on it. Most of it all, you know, basically crosses over from your YouTube. And then there's certain things you want to, if you want to fill in your credit card, put all your credit card information. So that way you'll be able to develop a, you know, the account, uh, even though uh, YouTube and Google are both one and the same, they separate it all so that you have still have to put all your information in there and, and get everything in there that's uh, necessary. So do that if you do need to create an account and then finish watching this video. Uh, but if you already have an account, just go ahead, click next, and you'll see um, once we click the next, we already have a page that's our. Okay, so we're now on our video channel and you're gonna wanna pull your video from your YouTube account. If you, ha if you hadn't created a video, um, I would recommend creating one because you're kind of reversing the steps, but this is for those of you that have already created a video. Um, just go in there and you can go onto your YouTube account if it doesn't pull one up for you or you haven't already selected one, you can just go onto your YouTube account, which I'm just typing in our abbreviations and um, some of our videos will pop up here for us uh, that we have done. Let's say we're just going to promote this Grand Theft Auto uh, video here as a, you know, just, just as an example. So this is kind of how it'll pull up on the... Um, the phone, uh, as we were talking about, it's best just to select the mobile because 90% of the people use the mobile uh, and it works better. And then you can actually just put in your uh, landing page. Uh, we're gonna do our .org, so you'll create that. Uh, there's your landing page. Uh, and I mean, you'll wanna create all your visit buttons and whatever it pertains to. So if you're running a, a new special and or an HVAC uh, filter system replacement, I don't know, I'm not into HVAC, but just kind of giving you some ideas, you can just put it right in there, your custom button label, uh, what it may be, your, you know, give 10, give 20 discount or something, then your header. Your headliner is very important as another subject line. So you would just put basically what that pertains to or what it's going to pull in those customers that they're going to be looking for um, would be, let's say it's a, uh, let's say your name of your, let's say it's Johnny's HVAC. I, I don't know. Um, so let, let's just say that's, that's how your company is. It's Johnny's HVAC. And as you see, when you type all this in, the ad's going to come up on the phone. It's going to have Johnny's HVAC. And then it'll have the, you know, the ad. The biggest thing that you're going to want to do is when you create a video or you have a video is the picture, the main picture. Uh, make it very presentable and, and professional because that's what customers are going to look at. And the first appearance is everything. Um, people do judge by the first appearance. Uh, it, you know, they say so you're not supposed to, but they do. So. Um, once that's done, and then you can click your next. All right, so we're on the next page here with the locations page. Now, many times it'll select the whole country you're in or what have you. Don't do that. That's just a, that's just a total waste. So if you are in the United States and you're uh, placing an ad, you just want to hit your location. Um, let's say we're in Ohio, like we are. Um, yes, you're Ohio, United States. It'll it'll pull that up. Um, and you can, you can put your zip code. Let's just, let's just make up a zip code here. This is a close zip code by us. Um, there's a zip code. Uh, let's say it's a Lewis center area and 
you want to just hit that demographical area there or you want to cover more you know location area within that spot and you can you can cover a lot more you just keep going on and adding locations so if you don't want to cover the whole you know ohio you make sure you get off of that because basically what it will do is google will promote the whole ohio so if it isn't going to benefit you to you know in cleveland you know why why would you why would you spend that money there um this is a good thing about as as a side of thing as far as for your business because it direct markets and it would allow you to set that up so let's say you just wanted lewis center um est estimated weekly performance these are your impressions impressions just mean that the that that it's just being sent out there and then your views um average uh, cost is 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 now you can set all your budgets and i believe that will be on the um you can get that on the next forms and then you'll you'll want to go through and it'll ask you all the the age groups and everything and you know for that type of business so typically when you're going to go into advertising for this type of service it all depends on the service and demographics that you're um looking into so if you're hvac repair most most of the time your younger age group is you know might be in college or might be renting and it's just not necessary to go through those it's usually the the older age groups that are you know have their own you know other job they don't have time they don't have the ability to mess with air conditioning units or they may not specialize in that so i would just make sure you select the ones that are uh necessary and that are going to benefit you because it'll go through and it'll you know as i said it'll charge you for the ones you select so let's say we select those and then you'll go through and you can go i mean it's very detailed you can go and talk about interests and what that person may be interested in that's your your marketing to but if you're looking for repairs as far as heating and air conditioning repairs I, I, it's just not necessary to put all that in there um so then you'll just click next now here's where i was talking about your budgeting so if you have a daily budget and you have a lot of money that you want to spend and you want to spend two hundred dollars a day and you can do that i mean that's just crazy but it'll tell you how many impressions and what you're going to get out of that um as you see there's going to be a, a ton of views and the the cost average the performances as far as the impressions and things like that um this is where you want to be careful especially with google they will just they will just flood it and it sometimes just won't still go to the right people that you want and they'll they'll spend all your money i mean they don't they 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 will just take it all i mean it, it's just it it's not very beneficial unless you're doing it for for these so you want to be very careful in regards to uh the budgeting um especially with with business so know your budget and let's say it's ten dollars a day but you don't want it to run continuously i would recommend not putting it run running continuously because google will eat up all your money i mean they'll until you stop it they will just keep charging you so you yeah i mean sometimes when you're in a business you don't have time and you might forget about this and you forget it's running then you get a bill next month it could be six thousand dollars that they've spent um within your within that maybe as you said if you had a crazy budget of like twenty dollars a day i mean it, they it goes quick um they say it's twenty dollars a day but we ran into it before where they charge you a lot more um and it's a shame so what you want to do is just be very careful that keep a close close eye on it um what i would recommend is setting your budget the daily budget but then having an ending date so if you're running a special uh i don't know why but they sometimes most of the time they usually set it about two weeks out but let's say you only wanted to run it you know for that many days you just stop it on a 19th um ten dollars a day budget i mean you can go all the way down to a dollar a day budget if you want to but as you'll find it's not typically a dollar it's it's more <laughs> um and then um your campaign's almost ready so you'll go through and you'll see everything here you'll just want to make sure that everything is within what what you want it and you can see that it's 
it's all there. You got your campaign name. Now you can change your campaign name and depend upon what you're running the special on. You got your video. Uh, you have your landing page for your website. Uh, and as so we didn't do the buttons or the header, you can always create different ones of that. But that's that's a basically how you do it on YouTube. And I would be very, very careful. And I'll stress again, be very, very careful if you're doing this um, as a channel and thinking this is going to grow your channel. If you're like a channel like ours, it, it just doesn't help. I mean, and you're going to spend hundreds of dollars of your own money trying to get an outcome that may have only been worth $25. I mean, it, it's just not super, super beneficial as a business or uh, you're selling products or items, it, it is usually beneficial, but you also gotta be very careful to set budget lines. Now in the next segment, we can talk about other things. There's a, there's a lot of other marketing tips and things like that if you wanted to set up for your website domain, have linking, go to your website domain, keywords, uh, and a number of, uh, things like that. So there's there's so many different marketing things that you can do with Google uh, and their their platform. But this is just a video that you have created, but you can also get additional ads to your site by other campaigns. So we hope this video helps and wasn't too long for you, but as you see, it's very, very in depth and it has to be this long to cover some of these pieces and parts, or if we skipped it, you'd be confused. So we'll see you on the next video and we'll talk then.